in vowing to protect marginalized children who are trapped in dangerous circumstances, she has given India a progressive outreach model to work with. Hers is the first non-profit organization to get access to hundreds of state-run institutional facilities for rescue, trafficked, addicted, and other vulnerable children all over India. She works to prevent the occurrence and recurrence of serious child harm. Let me welcome with a very warm heart, Suparna Gupta. I am doubly proud because she was my classmate in school and in college. I feel very, very proud to be sharing the stage with her at this, at this time. Congratulations. Well, uh, Suparna, before we get you to say something, let's just quickly take a look at some of the work you've been doing. I'm Suparna, I'm 43 and I'm the founder of Angan. Our work at Angan is to keep children safe from serious harm like child marriage or trafficking or violence and abuse. In other words, to make sure that children have the childhood they deserve, safe and happy. Angan has a prevention program which runs really on the power, I would say, of this beautiful cohort of 500 mothers. Women and girls have the potential to bring so much uh, change. This is difficult work, it's challenging work. I'm going to keep going and I have promises to keep. Suparna, when I knew you in school, you were not this kind of person. Give away my secrets. What please. happened to you? <laughs> How did it all change? So should we no, actually I'm, get the secrets now? No, answer that. I'm asking you. <laughs> you know, I did volunteer uh, growing up. I volunteered in a lot of places. Uh, but for me, really, the turning point came when I went to a government home um, where I met survivors of child harm, serious child harm, like child trafficking and labor and hazardous work. And I think that's the thing about this work. Once you've been there, once you've seen it, you're hooked. And so that's what happened to me. <clears throat> so, but I just wanted to check the, the condition of, of homes for children is, an abs is for large part an absolute disgrace. In fact, many children who go into these homes sometimes uh, are, you know, fi find themselves being victimized in, in many ways. Is that starting to change? Is that starting to get better thanks to organizations like yours? I see change. I mean, I think... Uh this, is, this has to be ongoing work. I believe this is a lifetime of work and we're going to keep doing it. Uh, and, you know, let's not forget the children who come in here. It's not just about being harmed in one particular home. It's children who've come in with multiple levels of abuse. They've been trafficked, they've been abused, they've been uh, exploited. And uh, so just as, just as they've been through a lifetime of pain, our work too, is, it's going to take time. So we have to be patient is what I believe. Eshwarya, would you like to ask her a question? Well, you'll have asked her personally how she, uh, where she finds um, the strength and the reason to keep going with all the good work that you do. But um, to a lot of people out there, I don't think people know enough how difficult it is to keep this work ongoing. So how do you manage to do it um, in the widespread 39 locations across the country, as I read? Is it by partnering with the local governments, with private um, supporters, donors? How do you manage to keep your work ongoing? I'm sure you have a great committed task force, and maybe you'd like to tell us about them all. I do actually um, have... Uh, my colleagues are absolutely driven and really a fantastic team. Uh, so that's the beginning of the strength. Uh, but I think the other, the other important thing is really uh, that we are optimists in, the organi in my organization at Angan. We believe, unlike a lot of people here, in the power of the government official, in the frontline worker. Uh, we feel that they can do their job, they will do their job. Uh, as long as we're supposed, yeah, nicely. We get after everybody nicely. Get after them. <laughs> is what she does. Yeah. Well, she does all this, and may I also tell you, she's a super mom. So a big round of applause for Suparna Gupta. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you so much. Thank you, ladies, for doing Thank the honors. You. Thank you, Ashwarya. Thank you, Manish.